so the accident happened. Your, your voice is, is hurt, but it seems like you're still in the group. I am still in the group. Yeah, you're still in NWA, and it seemed like everyone, you know, Dre is still fucking with you. Oh yeah. You know, Dre, Dre never, never dismissed you or anything else like that. No, Dre's my guy. Yeah. You know. So after that, a hundred miles and running came mm-hmm. out. That was the next project. Okay, and and what were the songs that you you helped write on that album? Man, the track listing. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hundred miles and running. Yeah. Just don't bite it. Ran. Ran. Yeah. Surprise. Part two. No. They give me credit for that, but I can't remember. <laughs> Real N words. Yeah. Uh, commercial. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're so you're all over this. Yeah. Thing. Okay. Well, Cube was gone. Cube was gone. I mean, so I had to make up the space. Okay. So were you the main writer, or is it you and Rand were kind of yeah, me back and, and Rand, like whoever, like there's never a main writer. Whoever writes the best, that's what we gonna use. Oh, so you guys will write the same? Will so basically I, compete against each other for the verse? Sure. In a way. Sure. <laughs> sometimes you would win. That's sometimes. how you get good, bro. Right. That's how you get good. I can remember. Cube had to go back to the drawing board a few times. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, bro. I mean, but, but so did I. You right. Know, so did I. We pushed each other like that. And it was a friendly competition because we knew that we were great. Like, we were great. Okay. Now, on 100 Miles and Running, that was the first time y'all took a shot at Cube. Yeah. I think uh, Dre called him Benedict Arnold. Yeah. Okay. Um, what was the feeling about Cube at this time? Because I think what America's Most Wanted was out by this time, or yeah, yeah, which 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 was an incredible album. Great, incredible album. Great. Cube showed so much poise, man. He what he pulled off was he allowed uh, the world to recognize that when it's all said and done, this is the song business. It's not that this this guy makes dope beats business. It's not the guy, this guy has a powerful voice business. It's the song business, words and music that come together. Yeah. And they have a life of their own after they marry and you let that shit go, you know? Yeah, because uh, America's Most Wanted was all Bomb Squad, East Coast production, which- But it was great. It was, it was incredible. It was, I, honestly, I, by far, I feel like that's Cube's best solo album, period. I don't think anything comes even close well, to Well, he was young and super hungry, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, he had a point to prove. Oh, yeah. And he's he's one of the great ones. He's definitely one of the GOATs, you know, so. Now, but that came out. I mean, were you guys basically like, all right, we're going we're gonna to diss Ice Cube and we're going to set this no. off? Or? No, we weren't like that. Okay. Even if, it, even if that's what happened, we weren't like that. Maybe a couple of those guys felt some kind of way, you know what I mean? But I like you. <laughs> I, you know, I fuck with you all the way. And when no Vaseline came out, nigga, I rolled with that. You know what I mean? That was the shit. <laughs> it's all about the song, man. It's a great song. <laughs> okay. I always say right, because he, he responded with no Vaseline, which goes down as, you hear it as the number one or number two greatest disc record of Gotta all time. Gotta be, man. Gotta be. Because it, it's always no Vaseline hit him up. Some people say no Vaseline. Some people say no hit him up. But, you know, we'll say hit him up. But at the end of the day, those are considered the two big ones. It's a, it was a great record, and now, I loved it. You didn't get mentioned on no Vaseline. No, because Cube knew. You know, that like Cube knew. Like, you're not a part of that, even though you're a part of that, because I'm just doing my job. I mean, Yella gets mentioned. Well, Yella on your team. So you lose it. All those guys are old friends. I was just the guy that came in to help manifest the dream, if right. you will. And we built a friendship, but those guys went back. You know, they struggled together. Right. It, like it popped when I got here. Yeah. But there was there was an NWA at least a couple of years before I got here. Okay. You know what I mean, that was kind of build itself, you know what I mean? Were you glad that you were not no Vaseline? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Were you the first time you listened to the song? Were you just like, please, don't mention me? Well, you know what? I 
thank I thank you because by you know at that moment at that time I was a dis disabled rapper I couldn't fight back you know and so he would have seemed like a bully to push me around. That's what it was. I'm hoping that's what it was. <laughs> I, it, either way, I'm glad he left DOC out of the picture. No, Cuba's always been Cuba's always been real stand up with me. You know what I mean? And he goes out of his way at times to mention me and put me in the light. He and Snoop are really great about that. And I'm thankful and grateful to those guys for that. You know, I love them for that. So I interviewed Yella and he said that he was just like, okay, he got us on that one. That's all, you know, I even told Cuba this a couple of months ago. I said, you got, you, you got us. Right. You know, that's it. You know, we didn't like, oh man, nah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I bet a whole bunch of people felt like that. It was a great record, man. You can't look. He tore that ass up with that one. <laughs> The way he dissected every person, and you know what I'm saying, like he the, did the beat switched up and oh, yeah. all types of shit. He so, so he, him and Jinx, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're co signing what Yellow said. Everyone, you know, everyone in NWA felt like okay. Man, I can't. I I don't know what those guys <laughs> felt. All I know is I loved it. <laughs> you loved it, absolutely. <laughs> every freaking bit of. It. How did Easy feel about it? I don't know. Because it was really it. mostly aimed at Easy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't think he liked it very much. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You know, um, like I said, those guys were a lot closer to Eric than I was. I was okay. the new guy. And uh, which probably made it easier for the business to go the way that it did. In my case, but hell, it ended up going that way in all their cases. You know, uh, so it, it was just, it was a moment in time that, that should have, could have been a whole lot more, you know, than what it was. There was a mutual friend in Dallas who had Work with Lonzo in some capacity as a DJ, uh -huh. and uh, when the Boys in the Hood record started to get some some action, yeah. uh, this dude brought those guys to Dallas. I ain't blow up because my shit look real and authentic, not no fool, you know, foolery. Motherfuckers using CO2 guns and shit, boy. Nah, man, nah, yeah, no, no. nah, bro, yeah, it ain't like that. Yeah,